Have you driven in one of these modern roundabouts yet? Since the early 1990s, more and more of them have been built by communities across the U.S. And today, after reviewing research and considering all options, local and state officials in Minnesota are choosing modern roundabouts too. They're doing that because in many situations, modern roundabouts make pretty good sense. Because roundabouts don't have stop signs or stop lights, they reduce delays and harmful exhaust emissions. But the more important thing is that modern roundabouts are often safer than other intersections because of the way they're designed. Before we get into details, I think I should define the term modern roundabout. It refers to this type of intersection where drivers enter, go counterclockwise around a center island, and choose an exit. Modern roundabout doesn't refer to the much smaller devices like this one placed in the middle of a regular intersection to calm traffic. There's one other thing a modern roundabout isn't. Maybe you've heard about those old traffic circles and rotaries as they were called. Here are some pictures of the very first one designed for motorized vehicles. It was built in 1904 around Columbus Circle in New York City. And maybe you've heard negative comments about those old traffic circles and rotaries. Well, the truth is, they earned their bad press because of how they worked. Some of them had stoplights at the entries and in the circles, and some sent traffic and pedestrians right across the center of the circle. All of this delayed traffic and led to crashes. But the biggest problem was that entering vehicles had the right of way. With heavy traffic, that could bring the entire traffic circle to a standstill. Well, that was then. Today, engineers have learned how to avoid those old problems and how to keep the traffic moving safely. They've also discovered that roundabouts can be a good alternative. One big reason for the move to modern roundabouts is that they're much safer than traditional intersections. Who says so? Well, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, for one. They're a research organization that issues safety ratings for cars. And they've conducted research on roundabouts, too. They looked at 23 traditional intersections that were converted to single-lane roundabouts. What they found is interesting. Conversion to roundabouts reduced all crashes by about 40%, reduced crashes that cause injuries by about 75%, and eliminated fatalities almost entirely. Are you impressed or are you skeptical? If you're unsure, bear with me for a few minutes. I think I can show you that modern roundabouts are often the right solution. One step engineers have taken in designing modern roundabouts is to reduce the size of the circle. But the most significant change was to have vehicles entering the roundabout yield to traffic already in the circle. This is done with yield signs at the entrances rather than stop signs or lights. These changes help to keep traffic moving at a safe and efficient speed. How efficient? Well, those researchers at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety studied 10 traditional intersections. They calculated that if those intersections were converted to roundabouts, each driver would save a minute or so and that the combined savings of all drivers using those roundabouts would be about 325,000 hours every year. Compare that to the typical intersection with traffic lights. How many times have you waited for a red light when not one vehicle came through the intersection? You can't sit at a red light at a roundabout because they don't have lights. When there's room for you to enter, you're in and out with almost no delay. And that's how roundabouts reduce harmful emissions. If you don't have to stop and start, you burn less fuel. The same study by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety estimated that if those 10 intersections were converted to roundabouts, fuel consumption would be reduced by about 235,000 gallons a year. I think you'll agree that we would all benefit from that. But the biggest advantage of roundabouts is that they're much safer. As we saw earlier, 40% fewer crashes, 75% fewer crashes with injuries, and almost no fatalities. Why? 
Well, sadly, it's because at traditional crossroads intersections, we see T-bone and head-on collisions, and they're the ones that tend to be serious. But T-bone and head-on collisions are just about eliminated at modern roundabouts because all traffic is moving in the same direction and at slower speeds. That means any collisions that do occur tend to be side swipes or other glancing blows which rarely cause injuries. There are also some particular advantages for pedestrians in modern roundabouts. First, because traffic speed is reduced in the circle, crashes involving pedestrians tend to be less severe. Second, research has shown that more than half of all crashes involving pedestrians also involve left turns. But there are no left turns in a roundabout. To go left, you actually make a right to enter the circle and a right to exit. Also notice that when modern roundabouts have crosswalks, the crosswalks are farther back than in traditional intersections. Because pedestrians are set back from the circle, drivers can react to the pedestrians first and then deal with the traffic. Compare that with traditional intersections where drivers have to deal with everything at once. The islands between the lanes in the approach to a roundabout also contribute to safety since pedestrians only have to cross traffic one direction at a time. Notice that the entries to the roundabouts are slightly curved and that the circle has a relatively small diameter. These features naturally slow traffic, usually to about 15 to 20 miles per hour. That has a couple of advantages. First, it tends to reduce the force of any collisions that do occur, so there are fewer injuries. Second, with slower traffic in the circle, it's easier for drivers to enter the roundabout. Can you see why people like modern roundabouts? You might prefer them too once you've tried them. My first impression uh, was what is a roundabout and then my second concern that we had was were we able to get our emergency vehicles around the roundabout. So we decided then to bring one of our largest fire trucks which is a 90 foot aerial platform down there and drive around it in which we did and it worked just fine. It's really important that your people are comfortable with it and understand how well it does work. Research shows that members of the general public tend to react the same way. Once they've driven a roundabout a few times, most people like it. And driving roundabouts is actually pretty easy to get used to. You just need to follow a few simple rules. As you approach a modern roundabout, you'll see a roundabout ahead sign. As with any other intersection, you should watch for pedestrians and stop for them. The most basic rule in roundabouts is the idea of yielding. The traffic already in the roundabout has the right of way, and the entering traffic must yield. So as you approach, be sure to look left. Most roundabouts have signs in the center island guiding you in a counterclockwise direction. When an opening appears and it's safe to proceed, enter the roundabout. Once you're in the roundabout, keep your place in line. Don't pass. As you approach your exit, put on your right turn signal. Exit the roundabout and again, look for pedestrians in the crosswalk. If you're in a roundabout when an emergency vehicle approaches, don't stop in the roundabout, drive out of the circle and then pull over. Did you notice the raised apron in the middle of the roundabout? Some people see tire marks there and think the roundabout wasn't built big enough to handle large vehicles, but that's not the case. The apron is there just for the trucks and other large vehicles. It gives them the extra room they need, but the raised pavement discourages use by cars. What we've seen so far is a single lane roundabout, but some roundabouts fed by heavier volume roads have more than one lane, both on the approach and in the circle itself. The rules we just covered for single lane roundabouts still apply. However, in a multi-lane roundabout, just as with any multi-lane intersection, you also need to choose a lane as you approach, depending on where you want to go. Typically, use the right lane for a right turn or to go straight ahead. You can use the left lane in three ways. You can use it to go straight ahead or to make a left turn or a U-turn. In any roundabout, be sure to follow the signs and markings. 
As we've seen here, modern roundabouts are an option being considered by public officials for designing intersections. In many situations, roundabouts have big advantages. They save time, they save fuel, they're better for the environment, they save lives by reducing crashes, and when most people try them, they like them. That's why modern roundabouts are being built all around Minnesota. If you'd like more information about modern roundabouts, here are some good places to look.